Some people love him, some people hate him, but one thing that is clear is that Peter Thiel is an icon in Silicon Valley. And in the past 11 years, he has somehow turned $27 million into well over $200 billion worth of value. Peter Thiel first made a splash in the tech scene by founding PayPal, which was later acquired by eBay for $1.5 billion. Thiel's circle of influence grew exponentially as the founding team members of PayPal all branched out and created uber successful companies. And let me tell you, it is mind-blowing the success that the 50 founding members of PayPal then went on to have. After PayPal, here's a short list of companies that they created. Tesla, SpaceX, YouTube, Yelp, Yammer, which was later acquired by Microsoft. These businesses have a B after the dollar sign and it stands for billion. These are massively successful companies. They print out money. I made 20 bucks just by mentioning their name together in a sentence. The group was so prolific, so successful, and they seemingly had such a stranglehold on Silicon Valley that they became known as the PayPal Mafia. Thiel himself went on to have a series of additional successes. One of his first investments was $500,000 into a company called Facebook. He got 10% of the company because it was so early in its days there, uh, and that turned into a super successful investment. Thiel also founded Palantir, a company that specializes in big data analytics and is now valued at over $4 billion. So Thiel has basically made it at this point, and he turned his eyes towards a variety of passion projects. He became a mega donor to the Republican Party, he bankrupted the news publication that outed his sexuality, and he wrote the book Zero to One, which is now considered sacred scripture in startup world. And in the middle of all this, he created something called the Teal Fellowship. The premise was simple. Each year, 20 to 30 applicants that were accepted into the program would receive $100,000 to pursue their startup idea. Teal actually didn't want any equity in the startups themselves, but he did have one catch. Teal required each applicant that was accepted to immediately drop out of college to focus on that work. There were plenty of skeptics when Teal announced the fellowship in 2011. People argued that it was sending a bad message to kids by encouraging them to make risky decisions they would later regret. For what it's worth, Teal believes that people should go to college, just not all people. For some people, it just doesn't make sense to add thousands of dollars in debt and push off real-world experience, and Teal saw this as a way to support that segment of the population. And now, fast forward to 2022, and the Teal Fellowship skeptics are very quiet. Fellowship graduates have created immense value. Vitalik Buterin was a Teal Fellow, and he went on to create Ethereum, one of the largest cryptocurrencies in the world. Oyo Rooms, one of the largest hotel chains in India, was created as a result of the Teal Fellowship and is now worth around $4 billion. And most recently, Figma, the collaborative design tool, was acquired by Adobe for a whopping $20 billion, and that was a result of the Teal Fellowship. There's a long list more, but the enterprises that I just mentioned alone are worth over $200 billion in value. That's an 8,000 multiple on the $27 million in Teal Fellowship grants that were given out in the past 11 years. Just sit on that for just a second. Think of something, anything that has generated an 8,000 multiple return. It's hard to come by. It's incredibly impressive, and I'm sure that there are already more successes in Teal's pipeline. The fellowship is still going strong. In 2021, they actually received the highest number of applications to date. This year's cohort is working on a diverse array of projects. Let's see, they've got electric flying vehicles, a Christian daily worship app, at-home medical diagnostics, AI, blockchain projects, and more. If you want the full list, I've linked it in the description below. And if you want to go ahead and make my day, click the like button, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace, y'all.